Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kimberly. We are painting based off of this painting that I did. I wanted to put it in my Bible because as I was painting it, God just said some very sweet things to me. And um, I just wanted to document his love for me. Honestly, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, but yet. Um, if I don't accept that gift from him, that love from him, then I'm forsaking everything he died for. So I need to soak that in and I need it for, I need it for me for healing. Um, so here's what we're doing. We're masking, we're doing water fluid, water fluid, watercolor masking without masking fluid, because I find that masking fluid is a little rough on your pages. Um, and so the it can it can just stick pretty hard and if you add a heat tool to it it can stick even more and so i wanted to find a different solution for masking watercolor paints because i love uh leaving kind of white space behind and then playing with that white space as i fill up the rest of the space <laughs> so i did some research and i found out that you can try rubber cement so I tried it in my art journal, which is a good reason to art journal. And I'd invite you guys to, to be art journalers. Um, I do have a Facebook page for that if you want to join it. Totally free. Just We just all post ideas over there. Um, the link will be in the comments. Um, but um, it's really fun to practice. So I practiced it in my art journal and I loved the effect of it and I played with it in a bunch of different ways and so I wanted to see if it would work in my Bible. Now I will spare you the pain and agony of wondering if it worked or not because I would have showed you whether it worked or not you know me. <laughs> oh dear um, you get disasters and um, and add things that actually work. This worked you guys and it worked much better than masking fluid. It's a lot less expensive it worked even with a heat tool being placed um, on it and around it and um, and it, it's just really cool now it's not as perfect as masking fluid although you probably could add a couple of layers of it and it would be okay um, to give you complete white space but since the brush you get kind of the brush strokes of the glue brush in it um, and through those brush strokes some of your paint gets through those little cracks and goes onto your page. So it's not perfect, but um, you guys know me, I'm, I'm not perfect. And these roses are really loose and whimsical and fun. So um, I thought it would kind of add to the overall page because um, there's nothing about this page that needs to be perfect. So I'm just um, using some basic colors that are already in my palette here. Um, and I'm trying to paint roses um, that are kind of piled up on top of each other and you can see now I'm hitting kind of the resist area and you can see where the yellow paint is not sticking to the page um, and at the end you actually remove the rubber cement so if you're one of those kids that really liked to just paint rubber cement and then peel it off of things I may or may not be speaking from experience um, this might be a really fun activity for you <laughs> So I'm just adding um, roses that are kind of inspired off of the painting. Really what happened on this day, you guys, was um, I'm doing an art challenge in a, another group. And the challenge was to create something for somebody else and find them a scripture that encourages them. And I was praying and praying and, and praying and asking God, who, 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 who? And all of a sudden I heard you. I want to give you roses and I was like um okay well I paint them a lot haven't we done that and God's like no just sit with me and paint roses so that painting at the beginning is what I worked on all day and then I went "Ooh, this was such a sweet message and such a sweet thing I want to remember this this needs to go in my Bible so I'm not painting it exactly the same as I did um on that paper I'm I'm doing it a little more loose, a little, um, little more quickly, but, um, I just, I know I needed to kind of mark that moment in my Bible because God, um, was just speaking so sweetly to me and he called himself daddy. 
And that was super healing for me. Um, I know we can call him Abba and I know we can call him daddy and I know he's our father, but to hear him just say, Hey, I'm daddy and I want to give you beautiful flowers today. Melted my heart. You guys, it just, it melted my heart and, um, was exactly what I needed to hear. I'm always afraid of failing God and I'm always afraid that he's going to be, um, disappointed in me. And, um, I think that's just because I live in a world of humans and um, sometimes I um, worry a lot about letting humans down. But God wanted to remind me that even if humans (laughs) get let down, he will never feel let down. And that's a huge relief. And so I just know, I know I need to pray on that. I know that needs to sink into the marrow of my bones. So this page was... um, fun to do and important to do. So let's talk a little bit about watercolors because I know there's a lot of you out there um, here on my page that love watercolors as much as I do. Um, So the first red rose I painted there on the left, I don't think is as pretty as the one I'm painting here on the right. And I'll tell you why. It's because I didn't just let the brushes and the water do what they do. I overworked it. And so some of you are struggling with watercolors. Um, and for those of us who are like control freaks who might need to hear things from God, like relax, honey, I love you. Um, if you're anything like me, I'm not saying you are, um, watercolors are a great metaphor for faith because you have to just let go and let them do what they want to do. They look more beautiful, the less perfect they are. Okay, let's say that again. They look more beautiful, the less perfect they are. And the more you let watercolors just be what they are, loose, messy, uh, transparent, uh, a little bit uh, beyond your control, the more beautiful it is. So to me, like as I sit and paint, I just think, oh, God, thank you for this reminder that I need to let go, that I can let go, that um, life is better when you're in charge. And so if you can just think of God as the metaphor, um, or as the watercolor paints as a metaphor for letting go with God, um, I'd love to hear what happens when you paint and just let go and um, let it be kind of a time of prayerful reflection on God's character and his desires to love you in your life too. Another couple tricks about watercolor flowers. One is don't worry about making sure the leaves are the same as whatever organically grows out in the world. Just paint leaves because our eyes just want to see a flower. And I'm calling these roses, but they could be peonies. Maybe they could be some other big fluffy flower that I can't think of right now. Anyway, um, (laughs) just just paint leaves. Don't get too worried about it. Um, These don't really look like rose leaves, but that's okay. They don't need to. Um, um, One more trick that's been really fun is I've added, to make a different shade of green or a different kind of color of green, I've added a little bit of dark blue to my green. Before I was just adding yellow and black And I was kind of getting tired of those colors and I wanted something a little darker, but not as dark as what black does when you add black. So I was trying to experiment and I added blue and I am actually loving it. I thought it would look kind of weird. I thought it would be like um, plants aren't blue except for maybe like a blue spruce tree, but that's what the color is. It's like a blue spruce tree if you've ever seen one. And when you add it to the greenery, it just adds kind of instant texture that um, I think your eye still reads as a plant. So anyway, just a little tip. And the bigger tip in that tip is just play and experiment, which again is why I encourage you to do um, an art journal because um, you can play in your art journal and try out new things um, if you're worried about trying new things in your Bible. Um, You see, as I'm painting the blue here, that the watercolor resist or the rubber cement resist is um, showing up more. I'm not going to show you the whole 
thing while I painted the blue because that's just kind of boring. So we're going to skip ahead here. I added in a couple more uh, like kind of like big leaves. Like I was thinking like you might see in a floral arrangement, like maybe we're looking top down at some flowers in a in a vase or in a beautiful big urn or bowl or something um and again I'm not really worried about what they look like I just wanted some green there in the middle of my bible pages because <laughs> I thought that would tie the the two groups of three together a little bit and honestly it just started dripping and it didn't even look like a leaf anymore and I just kind of let it go and I like the way it turned out so again let go let go Kimberly let go so now here I'm using my heat tool and this is something you could not do if you were using masking fluid um, because it makes it stickier. Now remember, this is sped up times, uh, times two. So this is twice as fast as I was working. And um, so my, it looks like my hands are like working at a feverish pace. But what's happening is I'm doing lots of little light um, light touches to slowly and kind of gently rub this ru rubber cement off so um you don't have to go super slow and you don't have to be super gentle but i tend to be like a let's go and kind of person <laughs> oh dear um so uh yeah just do it gently and slowly and peel it off little section by little section and you'll be good so you can see now i zoomed in you can see how it turned out now we're drawing a little banner here because i want to write down what god told me today about being his daughter and him being my daddy um and I want to be able to kind of go back and just look at that um and really take it in and maybe do some journaling about it and definitely spend more time this year praying about that so this page was really important so I left the other rubber cement up in the corner I was a little nervous to see if maybe it would cool down and then be harder to peel off because I had taken the heat tool to it but nope it was just fine too so we're rubbing that one off um and again if you added more layers of rubber cement you probably would get an even cleaner uh surface underneath but where the brush strokes were for the rubber cement you can see my paint kind of leaked through in little parts there but again um i knew it was going to do that because i played with it in my art journal and it does that and since this page is just kind of loose and messy and it's not supposed to look perfect um i was totally okay with that and i just think it adds some character but that's that way you can choose kind of what you want add more rubber cement if you want it to be a totally clean surface underneath if you want some brush strokes and some paint colors to kind of splatter through um, just do one thin layer of rubber cement so here i'm just using my normal handwriting doing absolutely nothing fancy just writing what i felt like god truly wanted me to understand he wanted me to understand i was his daughter and that he loves me more than i can imagine and that he wants me to start seeing him as daddy <sighs> let's just sit there on that for a minute guys <laughs> that's for you too so i was gonna do a little tab at the top of my page and then i decided no this page is really important so i grabbed that glue which is my favorite if you've seen my other videos you know i love that fast grab glue it's different than the regular tacky glue because it literally like grabs quickly so it's perfect for adding trims and things in your bible that you don't want to like sit there and hold you just need them to stick and go so you can see again this is sped up but it's still you know i hold i hold it down for maybe 20 seconds and it's stuck to the page it's pretty impressive glue i love this stuff so i decided to add this huge big eyelet red eyelet ruffle i thought it looked really pretty with the flowers and then <laughs> Here's my thought process. I was like, oh my gosh, that's kind of big and dramatic. And then I heard God say, mm hmm, you're kind of big and dramatic. <laughs> that sounds horrible. But I heard it in a very loving way. Like, like that I'm, I have a bold personality. I love bold color. I love, uh, being a girl and all the girly things that come along with it. And I felt like God was just saying, honey, I made you that way. Put that lace in there. Thanks for joining me again today, you guys. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around and I'll see you later.